Hello guys, welcome once again to One Life One Chance, picking an old school console game again and we're going to see how long we can last off One Life and today we're playing the NES version of Double Dragon, this is an absolute classic and I can't wait to play this because it's one of my favourite versions of the game and I think it's a very underrated one. It's actually foolproof that uh, even though it's not the best looking game in the world, it should still be recognised by its game players. It's one of the most fun versions of Double Dragon to play. And uh, hopefully you'll see enough of it with one life. It is pretty challenging, but we should get through a level at least. And uh, you've got a basic uh, set of moves. You've got a punch attacks and you've got kick attacks. Um, you can press the punch and kick button together and you'll jump. So it's your typical early 80s fighting game brawler controls. Um, what's unique about the NES version of Double Dragon is you'll kind of gain experience every time you attack an enemy. Now, if you look at the very low left of the screen under the health bar, you'll see 570. That's actually your experience gauge. Now, every time you get that up to a 1,000, it'll reset and you'll unlock a move. Um, so, for example, when you have three, you unlock a jump kick, which becomes very, very handy. And then as you go further along, you'll uh, unlock elbows, jumping around houses, things like that. Now there is some strategy with leveling it up, um, if you keep doing kick moves it's not going to cut it. You actually receive and get awarded more points uh, for doing punch attacks. So my recommendation is if you're playing this for the long haul, um, I would rely on the punch button more than anything, at least in the first level, just to get yourself ahead. And then uh, once you have a whole pile of moves unlocked you can kind of do things a more easy way if that makes sense. Alrighty. So, uh, this is a little bit different as well compared to uh, other versions of Double Dragon. Oh, well, only a little bit. Um, the levels are all pretty much the same, but there's just a couple different scenes. They've just changed it enough to make the NES version, I guess, kind of feel a little bit more like its own game. We better be careful here and run out of health. But when we get in that door that you can see just in front of us, uh, we'll get our health back because it's a new scene, so we'll be good. Let's try and be careful here, use the whip. The jump kick's going to be handy with the first boss, so hopefully hopefully we unlock it. We should be alright. Using the whip does give you a, a fair amount of points, um, but obviously the enemies die quicker when you use it, so... Not quite as good as the punch, but helps you stay alive at least. So we're in this big uh, industrial thing. We've got that... Uh, I don't know what that scrolling thing is called off the top of my head. But I mean, if you fall down that chute, you're obviously going to have a bad time. <clears throat> there we go. First battle with a Bobo. I think that's his name. Hopefully you can make this health last. Uh, what's annoying about this version of Double Dragon compared to the others, though? Um, I think if you die, uh, you don't just respawn straight away where you are you have to do certain sections of the level all over again so they kind of each little part of the level kind of works as a checkpoint I guess you could say so uh, this first the Bobo enemy is pretty easy to jump kick and kill but as you go further along um, they're a little bit more strategic and duck your attacks and all that kind of thing so it will pose more of a challenge as we advance but what's important is we finish that first level, so I've got some video to show you. That makes me happy. Hopefully it makes you happy too. And we've got level 2 now. We're in the industrial area. So as you can see already, with the first star level that we've done, um, compared to other versions of Double Dragon games, whether it be the Master System or the Arcade, it very much looks the same but different at the same time. And, uh, hopefully, without going off on a tangent, uh, I'll show you the Game Boy version eventually too, because that's also completely different and pretty unique to watch. Might have to rely on this drop kick more. The collision detection in this game is not too bad, um, at least for an 80s game. You know, I always kind of have gripes when enemies are just always able to hit you first and you have no chance of using good strategy on them, but... Um, <clears throat> this game doesn't feel too unfair compared to some others that I've played. Cough, cough, crime fighters. Go up here. Now, my favourite weapon in any version of the Double Dragons game is uh, the baseball bat. It just goes absolutely ham. Yeah, 
hopefully we can hold on to this for a little while. I think in most versions of the Double Dragon games, once you hit um, or go past a certain part of the level, you lose your weapon, which is really annoying. I like being able to keep it if um, I'm skillful enough to not lose it, if that makes sense. But that's just me having a bitch. You notice NES was really, really good with uh, their game music too. I love the soundtrack in this version of the Double Dragon game. Um, even though all the soundtracks of the Double Dragon games are the same, they're all remixed slightly different, of course. And uh, I just like the way that they've done this one. game is a ginger. Nothing against gingers, of course, just pointing that out. <laughs> so you can see this is uh, a little bit different compared to the second game, the, the, or the second level and the other versions of the game. It was more of a, just a side-scroller. I think the NES version is the only one where you climb vertically to get to the boss, so this is pretty unique in itself. I don't think I've seen a, a muscle-clad guy with purple hair before. Does it really matter? Probably not. <laughs> Surprise! We're making it to a third level off one life. This is good. This is good. It starts to get a lot more tricky here. A lot more bosses. You fight a, a Bobo in this level multiple times, and uh, all of a sudden, Williams or whatever this enemy is called seems to just get three times strong compared to the first level. It's like he's making a comeback or something. Well, I say him, and then there's like five of them on the screen at once, so I don't know if they're like quadruplets or whatever, but, or quintuplets. Again, probably something that doesn't really matter. <laughs> really like the music in this level as well. So much harder compared to the second level already. I already lost half my health. I don't think there's any continues in this game too, so I think you get three lives, you can probably earn one along the way, and then if you die, that's it. So, uh, you really have to have a lot of skill to finish this game. I think I have finished this version of Double Dragon maybe once. Uh, I don't think I used cheats to do it, but, uh, you know, maybe I did come to think of it because, uh, I don't know if it's just the fact that I was so much better at games growing up. It just feels really, really difficult today in comparison. I don't remember using cheats though. These purple guys again. And everyone seems to be a twin, a triplet, or a quintuplet in this game. My sudden death just got one bit of health left. So as you can see, I've been leveling up a lot. I've got five hearts, so I can't work out all the buttons off the top of my head, but you should be able to start doing things like elbows and all that now too. Might work that out for next time. I'm about to get a six heart in a sec too. So we'll really be in boss mode. There you go, level up. Here. I think a Bobo is going to rock up in a sec as well. Oh damn. Well that's it. Thank you so much for joining us guys. That was Double Dragon on the NES. It's a fantastic game and a fantastic version. If you haven't played it before you need to treat yourself. If you like what we do please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us and we'll see you next time.